Hi everyone and welcome to uh, Agatha Christie's The ABC Murders as you can see on the screen right here. Uh, this is Juliana and this is the first episode of Meandering uh, with We're Doing It Wrong. Basically it's where one of us decides that we want to play a game that interests us and not the other. And so we're going to play by ourselves. There is no backseat driver to kind of accompany us along. So this is all me by myself. Uh, first time going through this. So don't, don't just take me right away. I'm still working out all the bugs myself for recording on my own. Um, so we're going to start. Um, background for this is if anybody's a Herkuperofe. Um, my horrible accent is due to the fact he is the Belgian detective, um, by Miss Agatha Christie. Um, anyway, I'll just go ahead and start playing. Um, I do like, uh, this reminds me a lot of the TV series. I have not read the books. You can hate me later. Um, or not. Um, we have 50 trophies to unlock. Yay. Anyway, um. I do like the art style, the music. I do like the like uh, cartoon style that they're using. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for Endover on the 21st of the month. Yours extra, A, B, C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe, but please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. So it's kind of an interesting sort of take. Um, there's a good bit of storytelling in this, I think, uh, just based off of the books. Um, yeah. Uh, I grew up watching Masterpiece Theater, now known as just Masterpiece. So uh, it's, it's sort of a love affair with that. And I apologize, people apparently like to call me. Um, there are also points in here for acting like you get Ego's points for acting like it's here, Hercule Poirot. Poirot. The well, murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. To the fair, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Uh, as you could tell, he takes much pride in his appearance, and you'll see me try and get extra little uh, points from that. Um, this is just a point and click. It's like Don't most Daddy detective Pyro. things Jack that you'll ever see. Um, Uh, and it's going to have us go around and get our shoe wet. Oh, maybe not. Over here, oh, it's my wet shoe. Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Okay, so this one's a little bit different in that uh, you do actually do something like a, an observational uh, 
aspect to your characters, which is nice. Uh, if any of you played the PS4 version of Sherlock Holmes and those crimes, which I'm forgetting the full name of, it's very similar to that. Is um, Job being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. Um, I have played through it a little bit, uh, just to see if I would like it, um, Mrs. or something. Alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Miss Zesha? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh. Franz Sasha, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. Um? Do you think he's guilty? We'll look for Franz Asher. If he doesn't have an alibi, the case is closed. A very unoriginal murder. But that. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. Um, so... I, I know I'm not talking a lot during this. Uh, I'm trying to give you kind of this idea of the characters, uh, what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of speech and uh, kind of playing with that. And I kind of want to turn up the volume on... Oh, the voices are all the way up. Um, I'm going to lower kind of the sound right now. And uh, all right. So... Um, There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. Like I said, this is not the most original game. I like the cleanliness of the drawings. I like the music. If this you ever grew up watching Perot, in a very even shaped pool of blood. It's mm, kind of one of those. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? Hmm. The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped One of the things that I've noticed about this game that I'm not particularly the biggest fan of is the, um... The floor. Sort of the way... The clicking is very, very sensitive. Um, she just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. And each of them has a relatively big um, area. So if there's anything remotely near it that could be used um, as a clue, uh, it it's going to be used that way. Uh, so... The place it, is unusually tidy for a And when we get to the puzzles, you'll see some of them are very, very spotty. Um, now you'll notice it gray. It gets into a finer and finer um, sort of green color. Um, um, Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. So, now for the fun part, we now have a clue. Um, so, there's information. Uh, so, 
Uh, here you are making uh, Perot's little gray cells work. Uh, the aim is to answer the question he asks himself by establishing the links between the clues in order to deduce an answer. Uh, slide the clues on the empty box to fill in the holes. Or to fill the holes. Okay, so was Miss ha uh, Asherfield uh, killed on site? Um, there's a pool of blood near her head. Yes. Um, and there are no other marks on the floor. So she wasn't dragged away. She's killed on site. Mrs. Asher was killed um, here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Um, so we also have these objectives to get through. There's also a notebook that if you decide to come back, uh, if you've left something, you can kind of discover what's going on with these. Um, Red liquid is oozing out. Here's, is it blood? You won't really get to see what I was talking about with the um, no. controls right it's here, but if you're losing their juice. zoomed in on something, from the you can't necessarily turn it. it. It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. You also have to be very, very uh, particular in the way that you turn things so that um, the letter A. There are no prints on the board. So that Hercule Perot will make his findings. Um, so Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. So we've got two. Is covered with fingerprints all on top I've of got one three. Another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. Yay. Um, we now have new questions available. Um, I'm just going to try and get them as quickly as I can. Um, obviously that didn't work. Notice we didn't get a little green line. Um, and we're missing a clue, so we'll see. Um, can't necessarily answer that one. So there's actually <sighs> okay. It was left by the murderer's Murderer signature. So left yeah. behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover leaves little doubt. The door is locked. All right, we'll figure that out later. Um, 
checked out over there. We've done all of this. Um, I think this is a good place to stop until we actually see who we're with. Because um, now we've got to talk to Inspector Jap about getting in to see the room. Anyway, uh, I'm having fun with this. I know it's a little bit boring for you guys right now. Um, it's pretty much just a fun do-it-yourself game. Um, I do love the style. If you, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing. If you don't like it so much, feel free to give me a thumbs down. Please leave constructive criticism. Um, or if you like, if you would like to see more, please tell me. Uh, let me know about other games. Uh, I don't have the most funds right now to be buying them, but, uh, I will create a list and as funds become available for it, I will go and do so. Um, this has been meandering. Um, there's not much meandering in this game, but don't worry. One of these days I'll get where there will be real meanders. Um, but, uh, I'll see you on the next meander.